Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome. Uh, shameless plug, if you guys haven't signed up for the buff yet, you might want to, it's gonna be awesome. So get over to uh, Eventbrite, check it out on the Facebook page. Uh, we'll put the signups there. Teams of four, get signed up. If you don't have four yet, put your name on the whiteboard, mix and match, we'll get a team going. But uh, for our workout today, what we have, we start out with a power clean. We're gonna do five sets of three for strength on that power clean, trying to get heavier every time. After that, we're gonna slow it back down, change it up, a little gymnastics today. We're gonna to do 12 minute AMRAP of a 200 meter run and then a 50 foot handstand walk. So 200 meter run, we're gonna go around the building one time and then that 50 foot handstand walk, we're gonna take it from the rig to the wall. So just one trip upside down and we'll talk about that and talk about some scales for that. Thoughts on this? Uh, so, Look at the strength piece, obviously getting used to cycling three reps on a barbell, getting yourself a little more comfortable with some heavy weight. Uh, I know a lot of us techniques getting pretty good, so we'll keep working some of that stuff, but being efficient with that. Um, for this workout, 12 minute AMRAP, not super long, so I think the intensity will be pretty high. Um, that run, you'll want to run pretty hard, because I think that's the easy part of the workout for a lot of us. And then on the gymnastics piece, the handstand walk, find a scale that lets you get some practice in, but doesn't take forever to get through that. Like we don't want to be stuck just kind of staring at the ground in front of us trying to do a handstand walk for 12 minutes. Um, so we'll talk some scaling options here that I think are, are really good. Um, which one did you want to start with? We'll start with the box, we got the box here. All right. So what we're going to set up for a handstand walk, Greg's going to put his feet on the box just like he would be for a, a handstand push-up on the box. But I'm going to have him so try to walk. So he's going to move, maneuver himself around the box. He can go one direction uh, all the way around. He can go the other, then go back the other direction. But this is just going to get him upside down, get him moving, get, just like that handstand walk where he's trying to stay locked out, good, relax, and like that. It's that, challenging. Yeah, that's going to be one great option to get us upside down and get us moving. We'll try not that handstand walk if we don't have that balance for this yet. Another one? Another one would be the pike that we do on the ground a lot. So if I'm here, put my hands down into that pike position. And so when Greg's walking upside down here, we see him trying to get his, his hips up as high as he can over his shoulders, much like he would be in that full handstand. Uh, much, much different than a bear crawl where he'd have his hips down low, crawling across the ground. We want to again stay up high, just like we would if we were locked out in that handstand walk. So again, for those that don't have a handstand walk on the balance board yet, these are a couple of great options. And then, what do you think? Still going to tax your shoulders a lot, and, and fight to make that tax your shoulders a little bit, because if you're just feeling it all on your legs on a bear crawl, um, you're not quite getting the same stimulus. It's challenging, you know, it's not going to be easy, no matter if you scale or if you go RX. Yeah, well, have fun with this one. Uh, and again, like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you guys next time. All right, later.